My name is Doug Kaufman. For the past 40 years, I've dedicated my life and even my career to finding the root cause of disease. Join me and a team of physicians, pharmacists, and scientists. And soon you too will know the cause. You know what, the stories before you find out about fungus are kind of ugly and kind of hurtful. I love the stories after you find out about fungus. Watch this. Well, if you go back six years, probably a few years leading up to that six-year mark, I was tired, fighting fatigue. I started having all kinds of food allergies, uh, food sensitivities, uh, from being lactose intolerant to um, being allergic to chocolate, nuts, seeds, um, allergic to wheat. But as I would progress through time, I would just kept feeling worse. And I'd catch every flu, every virus that would come by, I would catch it. And I just got tired of being sick. And so at one point, I even got the Epstein-Barr virus, which sent me to bed. I was just exhausted. And then after that, they thought possibly I had Lyme disease. They tested me for that, or the West Nile virus. That wasn't it. If I continued on this path, I was trying to develop an autoimmune disease, either lupus or vascular. And when he told me that, I was shocked because I thought I'd always exercise, I, I tried to eat right, oh, no. something's got to give. So I found out about Doug Kaufman and his antifungal theories and his antifungal phase one diet. And I started, just went cold turkey and cut out everything that I'd been eating that I thought was healthy, that I found out through reading his material was not healthy. As soon as I changed my diet, within weeks of changing my diet, I started having more energy, I started feeling better, I wasn't sick. If this can happen to me, it can happen for other people too. But the most beneficial thing about knowing the cause and Doug Kaufman is for six years now, I've been well. I don't have flus, colds, viruses, I have great energy. If you want that, watch Know the Cause. Awesome. Ruth and I were at uh, LAX, the airport, the other day waiting to get on a flight and this most wonderful mother-daughter came off a flight from Virginia and just paused and said, wow, can we say hello? The stories I hear, they are so humbling. Number one, there is a Ruth. <laughs> most people think there isn't a Ruth. There is a Ruth. She was at the airport and this wonderful mom-daughter got to meet her. Uh, number two, th that was coming off a book signing where about 100 people stood in line. Some of them had tears by the time they got up to the table. Fungus is a real problem. It isn't a problem according to most in the medical community. Welcome to know the cause. Folks, when you've ruled out bacteria and ruled out virus, then doctors say immunosuppressants, antidepressants, here's the list, take what you want. There's something missing in medical training, and it's fungus. Now, says who? This is a woman, you just saw Cheryl with all of these health problems, right? Here's a book that Dr. Costantini signed to me, and it was back in 1998. Breast Cancer, Hope at Last. Every time I read his opening to me, it just it brings tears to my eyes. But here are, he and two other physicians with the World Health Organization wrote this. We think there's a fungal etiology in some cases of, are you ready? Breast cancer, other cancers, including uterine, ovarian, colon, prostate, atherosclerosis, plaque, AIDS, gout, Crohn's, MS, hyperactivity, infertility, home run, uh, psoriasis and cirrhosis, Alzheimer's, scleroderma, renal, sarcoidosis, kidney stones, amyloidosis, vasculitis, arthritis, Cushing's disease. Wow. I don't even, th I think that's a semi-list, semi-partial list. I think... Look, rule out fungus. Me, FUPO, fungus until proven otherwise. But doctors don't know, folks. Doctors don't know that we can feed fungus once on board. It's a parasite. It's going to eat. And we feed it with cereal and pasta and alcohol and antibiotics and corn and other grains, sugar. Once you've got a fungal condition, you'll crave sugar. 
fungus wins the human cell, fungal cell war. Every time, it's going to win. It needs to be starved. One of my favorite old books out of the mid-1990s, boy, have I beat that thing up a little, Clinical Mycology, right? This book says, listen to the chapters in this book, and this is a medical textbook. Where does this fungus grow? Fungal infections of the respiratory tract, fungal diseases of the eye, fungal diseases of the kidney and those associated with kidney failure. Does your doctor know this? Fungal diseases in genitourinary medicine, including fungal prostatitis. Oh, so huge. Fungal infections of the GI tract, gastrointestinal, disseminating fungal conditions of the blood. Fungal infections of the ear, nose, and throat. Fungus diseases of the skin. Fungus causing mass lesions of the central nervous system. You're kidding. It can cause sores. Fungal meningitis, the coatings of the brain and spinal column. Fungal diseases of the heart. Fungal diseases of bone and joint. They say, I believe it was in this book, that the only place these fungi can't grow are in the teeth, right? The enamel, get through the enamel of the teeth. Fungi represent a huge health threat in America today. All you've got to do is keep physicians from knowing this and drug companies from telling them this. Yeah, your doctor gets his education from the pharmaceutical industry. If that doesn't scare you, if you don't think there's a conflict there, where is one in medicine? Don't go away, I'll be back with more. Recognize your skin is an immune organ full of immune cells that promote collagen and elastin production. Both essential for smooth, soft skin without wrinkles or spotting and for recovery from skin wounds and ulcers. As we age, our skin begins to dry up, get thinner, spot and wrinkle, with wounds slow to heal. Years of too much sun and age attack us. Respond with ImmuSkin, containing ammunition, glucan plus aloe, colostrum with transfer factor, CoQ10, jojoba oil, vitamins, and much more with fast absorption and no lingering fragrance. Resolve many of the conditions of aging skin while helping with age control too. ImmuSkin is for both men and women of any age. Do you want to keep your skin both youthful and healthy? Help your body help you by using NSC ImmuSkin Cream today. Which of my books fits you? The first time I wrote this book, I called it What Makes Bread Rise. Many people didn't get it. The same yeast that makes bread rise can make us rise. So is there a fungal link to weight problems in America? Read the fungus link to weight loss. The diets are there, the prescriptive, the natural antifungals. I think you'll enjoy it, and I think it'll cost you a lot of pounds. Lindsay and Daniel Crouch are with me today, and Hank is with me. You may have seen this before. How does mom get back into shape after she's had a baby? So start at a month or two months after the baby is born. Take me through what Lindsay's gonna do here, because this is fun. This is fun, and it's mom and, and son bonding Ready? time. So Lindsay, Should we show tired. Them? She's tired. Yeah. Yeah. But, right, but don't do let this. that stop you. I mean, just here keep moving, here, you know? So basically, she, Lindsay's gonna try to hold Hank as far or as close as she can. You know, in some cases, you know, if you're if you're starting off, you're gonna keep him a little tighter in your chest. But if you're super strong and feeling studly, then get him as far okay. out as you can. Because you work other, other exactly. muscles. Exactly. The shoulders. See, oof, yes. look at these shoulder muscles popping out as soon as. And Hank loves it even more too. Postures tall, chest is tall. Feeling the buns and legs burn. It should burn after two or three or four, especially if you have a, a healthy young lad like this here. See, now this is interesting in that she's using for leverage, right? She's using a baby, 10 pounds, maybe yeah, something like that? Yeah. 14. 14, 14 pounds, okay, wow. I love it. She lets you know she's on rep number 20 here. So it's fascinating that what you're talking about is getting mom back into shape. Yeah. We yeah. men tend to think, wow, our wives popped right back into shape. It takes a lot of work. It does, to get yeah. Back. The whole body changes. It's a traumatic experience to have a child. Is it know? harder because Daniel is a workout specialist? Yes. I mean, <laughs> being around him, he's going to push you, make you. Oh, yeah. Uh, His abs, Hank. man. Hello, Hank. You know, I just find if I do mm. five to 15 minutes of something every day, then I'm good. You have another child. Yeah. So that alone, many people would say that alone is plenty of work. It really me. is. Yeah. Chasing after that toddler, yeah. definitely. Right. So when the babies go down. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure, sure. sure. We do less idea. reps for the bigger one because he's a little heavier weight. We've got a heavier <laughs> dumbbell. And so what Lindsay's going to do now is she's going to go ahead and basically start with the lad there on the knee. We're going to stay tall and we're just going to 
rotate the baby like this. This oh. is all core right here. So you can, you, can, you can bend if you want to like Lindsay's doing, or you can just keep your legs like sort of softly bent there. And now she's really using her core wow. and her shoulders to win. Do you feel it right in through there, hon? Totally. Big time. And again, baby loves it. He's happy. He's like, I don't know what's going on, but I like it, you know? <laughs> but I love swinging back I and forth. I love swinging. And mom's getting shoulders. She's getting core. They're she's tired now. buns tight. Yeah, there she goes. She's like, easy for you to say. You're not the <laughs> I can't believe more. she's talking. <laughs> she would be so yeah. mad at <laughs> Hank, I can't take you because every time I take you, you cry. That's not part of the show. Today. This is so cute. And then the last one, hon, we're gonna remember we're gonna do this one here where you, you start with the baby here and yes. then you, you curl them and then reach up. You to the ready? Sky. Let's curl. Okay. And you can just keep curl. your legs straight for this one all the way down and curl them. Should all I the let way them down. see his cute face? Yes. yes. Let him see his cute face. You ready, Hanky? Okay. So basically what she's doing now, she's letting the baby go all the way down. You want to try to straighten your arms all the way down because this is for biceps here. And so many moms are picking the baby up. Yeah, yeah. And then you're just taking him to the sky. And the sky part is for shoulders. So let the baby all the way down. Straighten those arms out. Okay. And you can get to that. You can progress to that for sure. But just holding the baby there is going to be great work on the biceps. And you want to, uh, you want to condition yourself because you are going to be holding lots of babies. And you don't want your back to start absorbing okay, it. So the stronger your arms and limbs are, the better. In addition to this, my dear Lindsay, <laughs> you have found a few things about eating differently, not oh, loading wow. your carbs as you're trying to lose weight and so forth. Right, absolutely. Oh man, carbs are just going to keep it on you. So mm -hmm. we do here, lots here, of here, here. protein I got you, bud. I got and you. vegetables. I got and of course, you, we have our seed-based breads, which are just amazing, guiltless foods. So we find lots of those um, plant-based proteins. Mm -hmm. Oof. All those. So diet, exercise, yes. really right. the key. Yes. Yeah. Um, and it Meditation, enhances the relationship. Yeah. The child, you know, I was noticing one segment, you were doing the planks over the little right. hanky. He's biting me. He loves me. <laughs> He's better off He's biting if me. she's better off. Yeah. That's how we so, say, I love you. Yes, yeah. and then in sign language. <laughs> all the, the, the more, you know, endorphins she has through her system, the better she feels about herself. She's going to have more energy to give to the baby, to dad, yeah. to the family, because this, <laughs> this is the president of the family here. Exactly. Uh -huh. President of the company, too. <laughs> exactly. Want to say goodbye to the folks? Want to say goodbye to the folks? Not me. Don't eat me. <laughs> You're supposed to say goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Boom. You need to be an educated consumer to find the best probiotic. Dr. O'Hara stands out in its quality and consistent effects. I'm pharmacist Dr. Ross Pelton, and I only recommend Dr. O'Hara's probiotics. It provides live beneficial bacteria and nourishes your own native probiotics. This supports long-term digestive comfort and a healthy immune system. I believe in Dr. O'Hara's lasting results. It takes guts to stay healthy. Which of my books fits you? Can you cook your way to wellness? Can you eat your way to wellness? That's the name of a couple of books I've written, Cooking Your Way to Good Health or Eating Your Way to Good Health, loaded with recipes, whether you want to follow the phase one diet or the phase two diet. Please your families with good tasting foods, all put together in these two great recipe books. I'm sure you've heard about the BMI or Body Mass Index. You might even have an app on your phone to help you calculate you or all of your friends' BMIs. In case you haven't, it's the standard for weight assessment these days, but it's far from the best one. And to boot, it isn't always accurate. First, it doesn't tell you anything about your body composition. People who are carrying around a lot more fat than they should be, but whose weights are relatively low, will still have BMIs that fall well within the healthy, normal range. This is known as normal weight obesity, better known as skinny fat. While many of you may want to be skinny fat, this is an extremely common and potentially deadly phenomenon. Get this, one in every five men and one in every three women fall into this category. Skinny fat women have a 57% higher risk of dying from heart-related events in the next decade of their lives. Skinny fat men also faced a higher overall death risk than their leaner friends. So yet another myth shattered on Know the Cause. I'm Dr. Fred Pescatore, and the doctor is in. Today we're going to talk about something so many of you have, allergies, asthma, etc., right? With Frank Jordan of the NSC Company. Why? I want my immune system prepared when that ragweed comes in. I am sick and tired of swimming upstream 
and feeling miserable. Okay, now that's it. <laughs> okay. Um, we have our little toy here that shows, if you've got allergies, do you ever feel like this? You just, you can't get away from it. It won't leave you alone. It's just pure misery, Doug. And pure they thought misery. I was going to bring an immunologist from Harvard <laughs> on here to talk about allergies. Uh, folks, here's the deal. We can take uh, supplements. We can take, um, you know, antihistamines, decongestants. But do you take them at the right time, right? We wait for a decongestant until we're congested. We wait for an antihistamine until histamine's being released. There's an error that occurs in the allergic patient. Right? And so I want Frank to show you with a, look at this little thing, little train station. I want Frank to show you that air and maybe offer you some resolve of that with his product. Well, thank you, Doug. The, the thing is, we're talking about immune mistake. The immune system is hyper, it's overactive. First you want to put glasses on it, then you want to calm it down, and then you don't want it to release or trigger the release of histamines in error, because that's what gets in your systems. Antihistamines just treat symptoms. Let's go back and don't release the histamines. So I made this little example that I got. <laughs> grandkids, lucky grandkids. Toy Story loves me. <laughs> okay, and this is an allergen, which is basically a harmless substance. It can be house, dust, mites, I mean, go on and on. Uh, yeah. Strawberries, it can yeah. be almost anything. So the allergen comes in and it's harmless. But these are your T helper cells, T1 over here and T2. Now, T1 is the one you want to release histamine when you have a pathogen, where you have fungus and sci all those issues. Unfortunately, when it makes a mistake, we don't even know why, but these allergens create the release of histamine that goes into your mast cells or eosinophils. Those can be in your lungs. If it's in your uh, breathing apparatus, you get asthma, hay fever, the red runny eyes, all of these different things. What we want to do is correct the mistake, and if there is a pathogen and you do need the histamines, you get the proper release on the T1 cells. The histamines go out and then they attack appropriately. And the glucans will put glasses on the immune response, so hopefully it will avoid reacting to allergens. So Frank, in my intro here, I talked a little bit about using beta-glucan prophylactically. In other words, loading with beta-glucan. So when ragweed, pigweed, thistle, sage, you know, all of these things come into our environment, we aren't miserable. And I had a lady a couple of years ago at a, at a lecture I gave come up. She had your bottle of allergy, this little bottle of allergy. And uh, she said, I've been on this two years and I've had zero allergic wow. symptoms. That's what it's all about. We're not saying we can cure allergies or asthma, but we're saying this is a very safe treatment. It's not going to knock you off your feet and you'll fall asleep, right. you know, uh, like Benadryl or one of, these, uh, one of these products. This is something uh, very safe that you should load with. Absolutely, and we have different respiratory would be for colds, uh, for asthma type mm -hmm. situations. Uh, the allergy obviously is for allergies. And they have a little bit different ingredient mix. They both have the glucan. So if you have really strong needs, I'd go to the NSC 100. That's what I use. If I feel my, my lungs constricting and that wheeze come on, I'm tired, I'm exhausted, maybe I forgot to take it because I take it every single day. I try two to three of the NSC 100s. That calms it down. That's the big boy. That's the kind of aborts a reaction from happening when you take that kind of dosage. Now, I'll take your NSC. By the way, folks, this is yours free, right? This little package comes to you free. Even though it costs $3 to mail it now, he's picking up the <laughs> three bucks and he's shipped out a million of these, so do the math. Um, there's about a dozen of the NSC 100, the big boys in here. Take one a day, uh, allergy season or not. Uh, I don't know what your health problems are. See if this doesn't help them. Many of those people go on to buy the NSC 100. I did many years ago. I've been on this for a long period of time. The common cold doesn't strike me. I feel great for an old man. Uh, there's so many good things to say about this. We don't have anything like beta-glucan in a pharmacy. Uh, not, not really, not yeah. really. Uh, but it is non-prescription. It is nutritionally natural. Uh, there's no known side effects to my knowledge. I've never had any nor anywhere. We've been doing this a long, long time. So try it out. I think you, you definitely would like it. And go to nsc24.com. There's videos, there's audio commentaries, and much more. Do they order online? They can't, certainly, the free, they can the free, uh, the the free telephone, packet. Or the 800. Okay, good. Telephone number was up. We trust you will write it down. Good to see you, friend. Thank you, Doug. Thank you so great much. Great to be Connie's here. good? Oh, great. Good deal. <laughs> Don't go away, friends. I'll be right back with more. If you have knee pain, back pain, muscle pain, or any kind of pain, 
Flexin is here to help. But you don't have to take my word for it. Here's what this Flexin user has to say. Well, I recommend Flexin because it has worked so well for my wife and I, and we are able to continue our work uh, pain-free as a result of taking this product faithfully. You've seen Flexin on Know the Cause with Doug Kaufman. Now's your chance to take advantage of this great offer. It's buy one, get one free, but you have to call right now. Call 1-800-N-PAIN. Barb and Frank Long of Long Life Unlimited are distributors of one of the best home cleaning degreaser products in the country called Orange TKO with Delimony. Also, they feature many products in the Rafa Remedy line. Try this amazing product on your skin today. They also can serve you with 300 other products, many that are featured on Know the Cause. Ask for the Know the Cause special now by calling the number or logging on to longlifeunlimited.com. Remember, it's God-given, people approved, and doctor recommended. Some of you know my background. I worked for Dr. Howard Gottschalk in Los Angeles, a wonderful, wonderful doctor many years ago. He was an ear, nose, and throat doctor. And as I began to teach him a little bit about my fungal problems, he began to pick it up and prescribe Nystatin for some of his ear, nose, and throat problems. We had a mother who had two children with allergies that came into our clinic. One of them had horrible asthma. Well, for the allergies, we prescribed Nystatin, right? Two weeks later, the mom comes in with a little boy with asthma, and he hasn't had any breathing problems. To wit, mom says, Doug, do you think this could have anything to do with fungus? Nah. This is 1974, 75, right? So let's answer this question. Why are young people getting so much asthma? Why not old people? We got enough problems, right? So let's talk a little bit about asthma today. And let me introduce you to the lungs, right? He, I, I want to start with this, and I'm starting with this for a reason. I know that doesn't say antibiotics and asthma. It says antibiotics and cancer. I'm bringing you this opening slide for a reason. So get ready. It's going to permeate your brain. The Journal of the AMA has reported a recent study of 10,000 women. Those who took antibiotics uh, for more than 500 days in a 17-year period held more than twice the risk of breast cancer. Got that? What does that say? This tells me antibiotics don't do their damage immediately, right? Took antibiotics more than 500 times in 17 years, but look at this. Women who just took one dose of antibiotics, all you women watching right now, statistically increase their risk by 1.5 times. Here's why I have this slide. I want you to know that I believe the damage done by antibiotics doesn't occur immediately. The provoking of the asthma or the rectal cancer or the migraine headaches didn't happen when you swallowed the antibiotics. It can sit and just go to work in your intestines, killing the good guy bacteria, which as you know, Frank has told us a million times, Frank Jordan, is where the immune system lies. The damage done by antibiotics doesn't occur immediately. If you swallowed an antibiotic and your left ear fell off, okay, no more antibiotics. That's not the way it works. They can take decades to begin harming your tissue, okay? So with that in mind, antibiotics for breathing disorders. Get this headline, too many kids getting antibiotics for asthma. By the way, online, 2011, the journal Pediatrics. Although guidelines don't recommend antibiotics for asthma, almost one million children with asthma are being prescribed medications each year in the United States, antibiotics, a new study finds. Although we don't recommend it, a million children are being prescribed antibiotics. You with me, right? Antibiotics can cause asthma. Again, American Academy of Pediatrics. And I quote this, as the number of courses of antibiotics increased, this was associated with increased asthma risk with the highest risk being in children who receive more than four rounds of antibiotics. More than four. How many rounds of antibiotics do children receive today? 20? I have an interesting slide coming up next, okay? All antibiotics were associated with an increased risk of developing asthma except the sulfonamides. All penicillin, right? All erythromycin. It, it's so fascinating the way, what doctor would think our antibiotics are inducing cancer, breast cancer, or asthma in children. This one I love. This comes out of a private physician's office in New York. By the time a child is 18 years old, most have been on 20 rounds of antibiotics. Early evidence from my lab and others hint that sometimes our friendly flora never fully recover after antibiotics, he's saying. These long-term changes to the beneficial bacteria, uh, bacteria within people's bodies may even increase our susceptibility to infection and disease. 
This is what I want you to, there's a take home message here. If I had children with asthma, well, let me tell you, overuse of antibiotics could be fueling dramatically the conditions such as obesity, type one diabetes, inflammatory bowel, asthma and allergies, which have more than doubled in many populations. This is answering your question. Why are kids having all these problems with asthma today? Look at what we're giving them. From the time the mother is pregnant, we're putting mom on antibiotics, not thinking it could cross the placental barrier, okay? So here's, here would be my recommendation. Number one, do yourself and the child and your husband and your wife and your kids and your doctor a favor. Check the home for mold. I'm guessing 80% of asthma could be reversed by putting a Pioneer unit, you know, in your home by using one of these air cleaners. Ask the doctor for an antifungal that kills yeast throughout the body for five days. Stop feeding the mold. Go on our phase one diet. And after a week, start making a dietary a summary of what that child is eating every day. Oh, you'll find when they get into ice cream and goodies, their asthma goes like this. Why? They're feeding the mold. Don't go away. More of Know the Cause to come. If you are working hard on eradicating mold and mycotoxins and not getting anywhere, the common causes that you should ask your healthcare professional to help you identify that may be sabotaging your efforts include intestinal parasites, low stomach acid, low thyroid function, iodine deficiency, low vitamin D, zinc copper imbalances, presence of biofilms, and methylation disruptions. Methylation is one of the ways that we detoxify mycotoxins and produce glutathione. Folate, not folic acid, the methyl or hydroxy forms of vitamin B12 and vitamin B6 can be used to improve methylation pathways. I'm Dr. Greg Emerson for Know the Cause. Okay, now I had to get my packet right there on your television. <laughs> On your television screen is a phone number, right? This is the number you call for your free packet of beta-glucan, folks. No strings attached. You don't pay postage. This comes to you if you'll do us a favor. Pop one of these once in the morning, once in the evening, or once a day, and see if within a week you don't feel much, much better. Before we go home, I'd like to leave you with this thought, right? This comes from our fungal quotient uh, in our books. Asthma we talked about today. I think there's a fungal basis to most asthma. Doctors aren't there yet, but they're saying some asthma, and that's exciting for me, because when I got in this 40 years ago, no asthma was linked to fungus. Indoor mold, I think, is intimately. COPD, asthma, respiratory problems, et cetera. Have you been diagnosed with arthritis? Folks, once these germs, these fungi, get in the joints, they can cause swelling or itis on arth. Have you been diagnosed with fibromyalgia? I've lectured twice at the medical school in Fort Worth. Groups of doctors on fibromyalgia. It's very, very exciting when you're in my shoes and speaking to doctors about mold, mildew, and fungus and its ability to provoke swelling or edema or itis inside the human body. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you, Frank Jordan, for being with us today. It's been a great, great day. I hope you've learned a lot. Thank you. It's humbling to be here with you. Tell your friends about Know the Cause because so many of them need it. I'll see you next time. God bless you. Bye-bye.